Hey guys, we are going to go ahead and do our Bible story. Now, before we do our Bible story, we have to sing our song together. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I read and pray and then obey the B-I-B-L-E Bible. Good job. Do you see this Christmas tree behind me? It's really pretty, isn't it? Well, our Bible story is going to talk to us about the very first Christmas. So this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. Now, when, when Herod was king of Judea, oh, there's Herod. Everybody say Herod. There lived a priest whose name was Zacharias. Can you say that? Zacharias? It's a big name. There he is. Everybody say Zacharias. He had a wonderful wife named Elizabeth. Say Elizabeth. They had grown old together. See how old they are? He doesn't even have hair on the top of his head. But they had no children. One day, Zacharias was in the temple preparing an offering to the Lord when suddenly an angel appeared before him. Wow. Zacharias was afraid. <gasps> Do not be afraid, for God heard your prayers. Soon you and Elizabeth will have a baby boy. You are to name him John, for he will be a great man of God. Because of his preaching, many will repent and turn back to God. He will prepare the way for the coming Lord. Zacharias said to the angel, How can this be true? I am too old to have children, and so is my wife. Hmm, what do you think the angel's going to say? I am Gabriel, a messenger sent by God to tell you this wonderful news. But since you have not believed me, you shall be unable to speak until all these things have happened. Then as quickly as the angel had come, Gabriel had disappeared. Now, outside the temple, the people were waiting for Zacharias. They were wondering, what's keeping him so long? Finally, he came out, but guess what? He was unable to speak. So he tried to use sign language to tell them what had happened, and they all thought that he had seen a vision. Finally, a silent Zacharias returned home, and soon Elizabeth found out that she was going to have a baby just like Gabriel had told them. Gonna move King Herod. Now, sometime later, Gabriel, our angel, there's Gabriel, everybody say Gabriel. He was sent by God to the city of Nazareth to visit a young woman and her name was Mary. Now she was engaged to a man named Joseph and he was a carpenter. Do you know what a carpenter is? A carpenter is a person who builds things and makes things out of wood. Like Miss Kathy's husband, Mr. Gary, he likes to make things out of wood. He's made our stools and chairs for us. Very special. Now, before their wedding day, Gabriel came to Mary and said, Hello, favored one, the Lord is with you. Now, Mary had never heard such a greeting before, and she wondered, she thought, what does this mean? Hmm. Now, Mary was, she was afraid. She was afraid. She had never seen an angel before. Gabriel spoke again and said, 
Do not be afraid, Mary, for I have a message from you for, for you from the Lord. You are going to have a baby boy, and you shall call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of God. His kingdom will have no end. Mary was confused. She said, How can this be? I have no husband yet. Gabriel told her, Nothing is impossible with God. And then he told her, even your relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby, even though she is very old, for nothing is impossible with God. Mary told Gabriel, I am a servant of the Lord. Let all that you have done said, let all that you have said be done in my life. And in an instant, the angel was gone. Wow. Now, so Mary's about to have a baby and her relative Elizabeth is about to have a baby. Do you remember what the angel said their baby's names would be? It's kind of interesting thinking about names, you know, name for a baby, but the angel told them what the names would be. They didn't, they didn't get to pick. The angel and God had already picked for them. Elizabeth's baby's name was going to be John. Can you guys say John? And Mary's baby's name was going to be Jesus. So that's the story for now. And a little bit later, maybe tomorrow, we will continue on and find out what's going to happen with those little babies. It's pretty exciting stuff. All right. Well, that's it for now.